Hey, Chuck Wagon RV here. I uh, took a little detour. I'm going to turn. And uh, this is what I found. Of course, the road's closed because it's the wrong time of the year. You get a little higher than this, there's still snow where there is snow all over up here. But the roads are covered up ahead, so they won't let me drive any further. I am at 8,000 feet, 7,900 and some feet, and still got quite a ways to go. <laughs> so, snowmobiles only. So everybody's sitting here with trailers that have hauled snowmobiles up here, and the snowmobiles finished the trip. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna film this going down. I just drove up here. I'm gonna film it going down, and I'm gonna show you just the highlights. Uh, it's pretty long, about a 16, 17 mile trip, and uh, I'll get you uh, just some of the highlights. I'm not sure what the temperature is here, but uh... <laughs> Looks to me like it's uh... 70 degrees here, according to the car. Waiting for this knucklehead to get out of my way. He's going to go back down. I don't think we need to keep this thing on for 16 miles, but let me show you something. Uh, just a few miles ahead, unbelievable scenery. Plus, I have a vehicle parked here. <laughs> I don't know why, but I guess at 8,000 feet, it might still snow here. But let me show you this vehicle. It's Forerunner. And look what he's got. Tracks. I don't know how it is to drive that thing, but let me uh let me do that right there. back up a little bit I was busy looking at the Toyota these guys are up here maybe on uh, off-road equipment look at the valley and the snow up there pretty nice but we'll go ahead where I went to was a uh, upper Kanab plateau um, I didn't know what it was down this road but I thought I'd go through it it has a little bit more of the Zion National Forest um, we're gonna go downhill pretty quick because we were at river height when we started this 16 mile trip Everywhere you see is um, pretty wild equipment um, up here. There's still snow on the ground. When you drive through here, you can see it. I think we're gonna park right there and give you guys an eyeball view of the valley.
I drove up here and checked all this out on the way let's see what we can find first thing we need to find is my hat My beautiful hat my granddaughter gave me. I believe it was for Christmas. Woo, Wendy. I'm walking you out to uh, a ledge where I'm hoping we'll be able to see the valley. Because the valley is very awesome. Maybe we should show you the trail here pretty rocky a little muddy probably some snow melted earlier well that answers my question of what it's going to be like at 7,000 feet in uh, Pine Valley where I'm going to be working I don't think there'll be any snakes down here because it is cold snakes don't like the cold but, okay, look at, look at this valley, look at the snow on top of all those mountains, this is what I just drove up, somewhere way down there, there's snow on the side of that mountain right there, it's still there, it's shaded, so, uh, majority of the day, so, I don't know what that road is, that could be the road I go down. Not really sure. I do some pretty bad switchbacks, but some pretty interesting trees down here. Just give you a look see. And we'll head. Not very far walk. But I will start it back up when I get and find something interesting because I probably should be watching where I'm walking. <laughs> so I'll pause you now and get back with you. I just stopped at a uh, hiking trail. I bought a uh, backpack that you put water in. And I have good intentions of getting out and doing some hiking. But... Uh, the level of hiking here is pretty, uh, pretty extreme. <laughs> so, and I didn't bring my backpack with. I'll have to remember to uh, maybe throw some water in there and uh, let's go backpacking and maybe get to see some of these uh, areas. I'll give you a quote oh, here. That's where the road is closed up there. I don't see any snow, but they said it's closed and it's probably closed to a certain date and then they go ahead and open it up and just close it. But that's the valley down there. Let's see if we can get a clearing. There's nobody behind me, so I'm gonna slow down. But this is the road that we've seen. Look at the valley down there. Unbelievable. I'll turn you back on as soon as I think there's something that you would like to see. Alright, I'm down in the valley now. And I thought I'd show you where we came from. Up there is where the road is closed. That's that peak that we seen we drove around and uh, seen the snow on look at all this I don't think you're gonna see anything like this in Alabama Steve and Laura make the jump hook that truck up, sell that house, and go away for a year.
and see what you can find. I've enjoyed it. <laughs> Even though it's only been, what, three, four, January, May, March, April, four, five, uh, five, six months. I guess, golly, I didn't even think it's been that long. Oh, but it's, uh, it's been fun. You got the camper, you got the truck. All you do is hook up. <laughs> I've met so many great people out here on the road. Unbelievable people. Um, last place I was at, I was there 14 days. I donated a bunch of food and they cooked it and we ate and we hanged out every night. We kayaked every day on the Telephone Cove, Colorado River. With Scott and Dee. Um, just had a ball with them. Great time. Everybody I've run into, I've only run into one person who commented about my shirt that says FJB. Go Brandon. I wear that shirt constantly. I probably should have bought a dozen of them. But I actually had a woman chew me out. <laughs> about it and said that I should respect whoever the people elected. Well, I hate to tell you this, but, uh, but uh, look at the valley. I'm going to guess that the people didn't vote that man into office because we're not that desperate and Trump isn't that bad. You can get a major piece of shit in office. The man has no idea what he's doing. Even on his good days, he has no idea what he's doing. But I don't want to make this about politics. This is uh, too nice here. But I thought I'd comment on my shirt. 99.99999 liked it. One person didn't. FJB. So we're going to continue down this road. There's really not much more to see, so I'm going to probably end this thing. And uh, as soon as I find some internet, we'll, we'll get it posted. But uh, we will talk soon. I guess the last few days I've been blasting YouTube pretty hard. But they'll work with it and hopefully get a few more viewers. But anyways, talk soon.